Emotional day in court for family and friends of Amber Shipley. The girl accused of killing their loved one entered a plea of guilty. But as Jessica Gill explains live, she is pleading guilty to a lesser charge. Cheyenne Parrott was just 17 years old at the time this happened, guys. She was originally charged with first degree murder, use of a weapon to commit a felony, and not stopping to render aid in an injury accident. Now, of course, this was all for her role in the death of Amber Shipley, who prosecutors say was run over by a pickup truck that Parrott was driving. A large presence inside Odo County District Court today. The majority of them family members of Amber Shipley, all there for one reason. To hear her say that she did it, you know, she actually had to say, I'm guilty. I did it. While it's not for the original charge of first degree murder, that in itself was enough to bring some comfort to Amber's mother, Sherry, who still clings tightly to her daughter's ashes. And this is all I got of my little girl. All she has left after an incident that occurred back in September of last year. According to prosecutors, Cheyenne Parrott struck and killed Shipley near the library in Nebraska City. Apparently, it was all fueled by an argument regarding a boy. The pickup that was used in the attack belonging to Parrott's dad. It's still a sore subject for Amber's mother. And I called the police department the other day because I wanted to know what was going to happen to the truck. And they told me they still had it in evidence and he wasn't sure when, but it would go back to her dad when it was released. And my request to him would be to crush it, destroy it. I don't want to see that truck going down the street. Despite all the drama that may have existed between Amber and Cheyenne, Cheyenne's attorney says he knows firsthand how sorry his client is. She's told me many times that's one of the hardest things for her is to live with the fact that, you know, Amber is gone. But even if she doesn't serve the maximum penalty of life in prison, she should not be out in time to have the life she took from my daughter. The sentencing for Cheyenne Parrott takes place July 21st at 1 p.m., same courtroom in Odo County. John Mallory, coming up in our next half hour, I'll have much more from Parrott's attorney, including some personal comments from him on what's been the hardest part representing in this case. All right, thank you. That's Jessica Gale reporting live. Well, let's take a look.